Uh, my name is Joel and in this video we will be talking about uh, another vulnerable machine which is called as the SICK OS, right? Um, I think it's a SICK OS 1.1, you can download from the internet, import it into either VMware or VirtualBox and uh, you're good to go, right? The idea is to uh, break into the system, basically get the root access of the system and we are going to do that using the Kali machine which will be my attacking machine, okay? Let's get started, let's start with uh, looking at the you know uh, internet or basically the ethernet interfaces uh, i'm interested in ethernet zero because i know that my uh, sick os is also installed or present in the same network subnet as this right so uh, that's pretty good so what i'll do is let's do a net discover net discover iphone high and uh, ethernet uh, zero yeah my bad All right so when i do this i will end up getting the ip address of my um uh, sick os right so that's the whole goal here there you go i got the ip address which is 192.168.16.220 right so that's the ip address of my sick os what do i do next i do a nmap on this Let's copy this Let's wait for a minute while well, nmap goes and fetches me all the open ports and processes which uh, are available on this particular uh, SQLOS machine. All right. Nmap is really a very powerful tool, right? So as you see, um, we have certain things open here. We have uh, uh, SSH open. We have a HTTP proxy, Squid proxy open on the port three one two eight. I think this is interesting for us. Uh, the rest of the things are all right, but I think we'll focus on this one, the 3128 HTTP proxy port, which is open, okay? To get more information on this, what we'll do is we'll run the Nikto command, right? So let's do a Nikto and try to get more information regarding the vulnerability. It's like a vulnerability scanner, right? So I need to mention the IP address 192.168.16.220, okay? I'm going to use uh, proxy. And uh, let's write the IP address again, but now with the port. 3128. Yeah. So that is giving us some good information. What I can see here is, uh, oh, I see a shell shock. I just see a shell shock, yeah. So I saw a shell shock here, right? So we have a shell shock, probably it's vulnerable to shell shock vulnerability. And which place at this place CGI bin status right at this place right so which is pretty good let's try to exploit that so how do we do that let's do it using a curl command right curl proxy and uh, the IP address which is 192.168.16.220 the port is 3128 um, what are we trying to uh, exploit? The CGI bin, right? So let's go there and paste that. Right. So this is what we are trying to exploit. The header, right, is going to be. You need to have the referrer. You need to have the content type, and uh, so you know the shell shock vulnerability, right? The idea is to execute some command, right, which it is not intended to be run, right? So I think you can read about the shell shock vulnerability on the internet. Um, I'm not going to explain that over here, but I'm basically using the shell shock vulnerability to uh, see if this machine is vulnerable to that, right? So I have the this thing here, so let's paste this, right? So if I have to explain this, what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to run this command, which is, um, you know, echo uh, uh, user slash bin slash id. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to run the id command. If the id command runs, right and is returning some response then it is exp then uh, vulnerable to the shell shock so let's run this and there you go we have the result and the id command basically ran right so it clearly means that this is vulnerable to the shell shock right vulnerability perfect uh, what do we do next so let's do the same thing but slightly different so which means i'm going to copy the same thing right so it's going to be control copy paste Oh uh, my bad, okay. So that's probably copy only to here. Right? So what I'm gonna do now is uh, instead of executing the ID command, 
I'm basically gonna create a reverse shell right I'm basically gonna create a reverse shell from where from my uh, um, from my sick OS to my Kali machine okay so how do I do that space this and explain yeah so I'm gonna uh, create a reverse shell so this is a pretty simple way of creating reverse shell I have the bin bash uh, and that is basically sent to a connection uh, towards this is my Kali machine 192.168.16.215 is my Kali machine and the port is 4445 so now we need to have a listener as well on my Kali machine so let me open a new window and probably call the MSF console let's use the multi handle in this case okay so multi handler so you guys probably know how to use multi handler hit the multi handler you need to define the lost which is my kali machine in this case right so set lost is done set uh, l port right local port is basically what is the local port i'm basically trying to create a connection towards 445 right so i'm going to use that same thing 4445 perfect the payload is basically a reverse shell so let's put that as well this is a standard way of creating a reverse shell using multi hand loop right let's run this okay so let's have this minimized a bit yeah that looks good so this is already started so now let me go and press the enter on this command which i have pasted earlier and there you go i basically might have a shell here what do i do is let me probably um, get a tty shell instead right so let's use this command to get the tty shell we have used this in the earlier sessions and there you go i have my tty shell okay perfect uh what do we do next uh, we will go and run a cat on the etc password can we do this yeah so we uh, we just ran a cat on etc pass just to see the users i see that there is a user called sickos over here right let's keep that in the mind let's park it for now just let's just remember that there is a user called sickos and he has access to the bin bash perfect now what do we do next so i need to figure out what could be the password of this uh, particular user right so i'm gonna write a find command right which will uh, try to scrape through all the php files right generally because you have this uh, command stored somewhere i mean the password probably stored somewhere you know while coding uh, they would have adopted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search all the php file so this is how i do it all right type uh, type uh, two right and uh, what i'm going to do is dev and null okay and what i'm going to do is uh, i'm also going to uh, um, i'm, I'm going basically going to parse all the PHP file for password, right? So I need to mention that. Correct. So three includes and pass, right? So um, it's basically going to parse for all the files, all the PHP files, all the PHP files for the keyword pass, and it's going to see three lines above and three lines below as well, right? So that's the command for doing that. So once I do this, once I hit it, you can see some information here. I can see that there is some database MySQL settings in some one of the PHP file and uh, there is some username and password mentioned as well, right? Now just to try my luck, I'm gonna use the same password and see if it works, right? So let's do this, let's do sudo, oh, sorry, let's do, uh, <coughs> switch user to sickos over here and try to use the password which we just found out okay it says this must be run from the terminal okay fair enough let me actually uh, do this let me open a ssh to sickos at uh, 192.168.16.2220 right at uh, not at okay just ssh right ssh port is open so Hit that now the password for the password I'm gonna use this right so let's copy this there you go so that password worked for the sick OS user which is pretty interesting 
now still we don't have the root axis which is bad right so we need to get the root axis how do we get the root axis uh, let's do a sudo su okay john at one two three the earlier password and boom we have the root right there you go we got the root axis of uh, the sequence very interesting right just to summarize what we did was we found that uh, there was a port 3128 open over here and uh, we found that it is uh, vulnerable to shell shock vulnerability and using the shell shock vulnerability we actually ran our reverse shell towards my kali machine and once we had the reverse shell what we did was we tried to um, log in using uh, the user sickos we found that there is a user called sickos so we tried to switch to the user um, using a password which we found by scraping through all the php files right php configuration files so we found uh, a password for, uh, which was stored up there and we tried to use it but um, you know we had to ssh into the sickos user from outside and then use the password and at the end we did a sudo su to get into the root and you can see we have the root access of sequence right i think that's very simple you can again watch and uh, you know uh, probably try it on your own as well thanks for watching do tune in for more videos have a good day